Welcome to the Taxes to Go instructional video. The Taxes to Go app will help you send your tax information directly to your tax preparer. After you've installed the app, this will be the main page. So you'll create an account with a username, an email address, and a secure password. The password will need an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a symbol, and a number. After confirming your password, you can agree to the terms of the mobile app and from there you can continue to the next page. So we'll create our account and from there we'll begin swiping to send our tax return information. We've got some simple questions. We'll enter if we're married, yes or no. And then we'll scan the barcode on the back of our driver's license. So it'll scan most any driver's license. You don't have to worry about it not working with the mobile app. It'll pretty much collect the majority of your information just using that one simple barcode. So from there we'll start taking pictures of our tax documents starting with the W-2 and to take more than one you just simply continue snapping and we'll collect each picture that you take with the mobile app. So this is an example and just hold the camera steady so that it's as clear as possible. It'll, it should be pretty easy to read on the other end. They can zoom into it. Your preparer will be able to do that if they can't read anything. Next we're going to send a picture of the front of our driver's license and then take a selfie and that's because the selfie needs to match the picture from your driver's license obviously that's not me <laughs> and then we'll just verify that the information we've imported is correct you can uh, from your driver's license it should import this it didn't in this case because it's a demo but it should pull it from your driver's license the only things that it will will not pull are your social security numbers for you and your spouse and dependents of course dependent information and then contact information is the other piece that you will have to enter. This is the consent to use. Make sure to put your tax preparer's name or the company that they work for here and then your name giving them consent to use your tax information to prepare your return. All right, so then we'll continue and we're almost finished. We just have to verify everything. And once we see that everything looks good, we've sent all of the documents that we want to, we can click Submit. Now keep in mind, you can, you can send more pictures later using the chat feature. So if your preparer needs you to send more documents, that is definitely capable afterward. So from here, we'll get the code to our tax preparer. You can either text them, email them or call them to give them the code so that they can begin working on your tax return. Now this is the chat feature where you can ask your preparer additional questions or respond to questions that they may have for you. So you can um, type these questions and they'll populate. Also you can see the camera next to the chat where you can take additional pictures. When you have a chat message from your preparer it will light up up at the top right of the screen you can see it pulsing indicating that there's a notification or a chat message from your preparer. Once your preparer has completed your tax return this is what the screen will look like indicating that you need to sign the tax return and that you have signature documents. Um, so we can go to the chat feature just make sure there are no additional questions. From there, we'll click on the documents that need to be signed. So we'll start with the 7216 disclosure statement, and we can review the, the uh, screen. You can zoom into it if you need to read more detail. And from there, we'll sign once we've decided we would like to sign. And you only have to sign it one time. Once you've signed, the app stores your signature and allows you to click to populate the signature on the next few forms. So this is our due diligence document, so consent to use, and then you can sign your bank application. And again, some of these are small text, but you can very easily zoom in just like you normally would on a web page.
And of course, if you have any questions about any of these forms, you can further chat with your tax preparer so that they can fill in any, um, any blanks or any um, uncertainties that you have about the tax return. All right, so now your tax return is ready for filing, and you can check with your preparer to verify that they've electronically filed your return at this point, and they'll be updating you on when to expect your refund.